This is a great record shop. Ooh, Duke Ellington's Liberian Suite. I gotta get this, man. Hey, Kansas City! It's Ken Secor from Old Crow Medicine Show. I'm glad to be here with you. It's Juan for the record. It's got that record store smell. You know, hot plastic. You still have a tape player in your car? I, got, I drive a 99 Subaru. I'm all about my cassettes, man. Let's get comfortable. Um, hey, man. This is the good shit. This is what they need to bring back. See, this is the, this is the size that really fires me up. 78s are really fun because you're part of this, of a great uh, social movement in America. And people come to uh, understand and respect deeply American roots music. And in order to um, you know, facilitate this passion, they discover that, that these records made in the 1920s are really, really important and, and, and contain cultural information that um, must be preserved. This realization happens in the late 50s and early 60s, long after the shellac drives of the Second World War, in which probably half of the 78s were destroyed. So um, college kids go down to places that, you know, had a furniture store and sold 78s uh, to poor people, and they go knocking on doors, and they buy up all these old 78s. So here in this very much second or even third wave of 78 record collecting, I find myself with basically the trash bin. My, my 78 collection is, uh, you know, it's about 400 records, but none of it's all that great. A really cool Blind Boy Fuller record, Rattlesnake and Daddy, that might be my, that might be the one I like the most. Played in the 30s, you know him? That's my rattlesnake and daddy. Got to rattle all the time. Your man came wow, to my house once last Sunday morning. Asked me, was my wife at home? Said she long been gone. Back to wagging up to my dog, tuck everything I had. Can you direct me to the children's she section? Ah, oh, Malvina Reynolds. Little boxes on the hillside, and they're all made out of ticky-tacky little boxes. Little boxes, and they all look just the same. Oh man, I might have to get that one. Get a close-up on that, that woman's face. That's progressive folk music for children, y'all. Y'all like Louis Prima? He's great. Please don't squeeze of the banana. <laughs> if you please, officer, please squeeze of the coconut. Whoa. Rockabye Baby by Tepeche Mode? Yikes. Wow. Check this one out. This is cool. So these are um, radio shows on record. Like this doesn't belong in the kids section because this thing is terrifying. This is, look at these, get a close up of these ants that are devouring this. Man. Ouch. Dick, hurry. Get here quickly. The ants have arrived. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go through them. I really got some treasures, man. Soul stirs into my journey. I got a bunch of these at home, so that's going in my maybe pile. Look at this thing, man. Yeah, it's like something that you would quilt. I mean, so don't you know, at the end of this, I'm gonna make my decision based purely on pricing because I'm that cheap. 
So that's why I've decided on this multi-volume set. It's called Walt Disney's Treasury of Dog Stories, including The Incredible Journey, featuring Savage Sam, Big Red, Old Yeller, Greyfriars Bobby, and Nikki, the half dog, half wolf. I'm Ted Secor from Old Crow Medicine Show. It's been a real pleasure. So long. How do we do? We good? Come on. I think I've seen what I came to see. I think I've done what I came to do. Please don't squeeze the banana. <laughs>